Good morning YouTube and welcome to today's video. I hope you're doing really well out there. For this video, we're going to be attempting to make and eat a Filipino dish called Kale Kale. Now I referred to it recently in my previous video as Care Care. Jonathan recommended Care Care and I really hope I'm pronouncing it correctly this time, but please feel free to correct me if I'm getting it wrong. Now, Kale Kale is a little bit like peanut satay, if you've ever had that before. However, it has a bit of a beefy, creamy, curry-like twist. It's apparently very delicious, and there are a number of regions in the Philippines that claim the original recipe. However, one of those is Papanga, which if you recall, is where sisig comes from, which we made in a previous video. Now, we're gonna need to get some unique Filipino ingredients. So I'm gonna go and see my friend Jojo, who's Filipino, who has a little market, and we're gonna see if we can pick up everything we need from him to make and eat Kale Kale. So that's how a traditional Kari Kari would look. Yeah. So I was pretty much able to get everything that I needed from Jojo, which is actually pretty cool because I want the dish to be as authentic and as Filipino as possible. And Jojo's Filipino, so the fact I got the ingredients from him feels pretty authentic. He didn't have long beans. I'm not really sure where I'm gonna get those. I think that's gonna be a bit of a challenge. So I'm gonna go on a search now and see if we can find some. We got the beans! We got the beans! Let's go home. <laughs> I'm pretty chuffed that we were able to get the long beans. Besides those, we're gonna be using peanut butter today, oxtail, achuette powder, rice flour, onion, aubergine, garlic, celery, carrots, bok choy, banana blossom, shrimp paste, and of course, those long beans. I'm pretty pleased to be using shrimp paste again as well because I used it recently, if you remember, when I made the Bicol Express. And also, I forgot to mention this earlier, but we won't actually be eating our kale kale today. We're just gonna start making it. So that's all the vegetables chopped up and those are gonna be used in our stock. Now the main reason why we're doing this today and not the day of eating is how we're gonna be cooking the oxtail. We're gonna cook it low and slow. So it's gonna take like three to five hours, but that means it's gonna be as delicious as possible. Now I've gotta sear all the edges of the meat first as well. And one of the reasons why we do that is because it helps create a nice layer of like, caramelized meat. It makes it very delicious and it helps kind of keep in all of the flavor and stop it from seeping out during the cooking process, I think. <laughs> So now the oxtail is seared, I've taken that out and I've put in the veggies and they're softening and cooking amongst all that sort of caramelized meat juice. And that's only gonna enhance the flavor of the kare kare. I'm still never sure if I'm actually pronouncing that correctly when I say it. And that's now pretty much it as well. I've just got to add the oxtail back in once this is softened, fill it with water and we're just gonna let it simmer for maybe three to five hours. So quite a thick layer of fat has accumulated on the top of the broth. So I'm gonna skim that off now and then we'll extract the oxtail from the broth and finish making, or I should probably say attempting to make our carry carry. So I just put the aubergine to the side, which I browned, although I'm a little frightened that I may have taken it too far. I'm now gonna make our shrimp paste sauce. Ooh. 
This is quite complicated. I think this is probably the hardest thing I've ever made and it's taking me quite a while. I'm almost an hour and a half in, but I, I really want to get it right. When I use that shrimp paste, I get quite worried and I had the same problem with Big Ol Express. When it comes out the jar, it's incredibly pungent and very fishy and it's kind of concerning, but as it starts to brown off, it smells delicious, it becomes really fragrant. That's pretty much everything as well. We just need to kind of assemble the curry now. So we're gonna take that peanut butter, rice flour, and natto powder paste that we made earlier. We're gonna combine that with some of the broth. <laughs> put the oxtail in there and let it simmer for a while. And once that's ready, we're gonna throw in a little bit of fish sauce, bring in the aubergine, bring in the long beans and bring in the banana blossom. And that should be everything, I think. Everybody, care care. Kare kare. Kale kale. Kare kare. Kare kale. Kare kare. I think I'm saying exactly what you're saying. I'm sure of it. Sure. <laughs> I pretty much did all of this with a little bit of help from Chloe. I did WhatsApp her a couple of times to ask for advice, but this is basically a collective recipe from like a number of recipes that you mm -hmm. found online, that I found online. It smells amazing. I'm very excited to eat this. The long beans look really, really cool as well, the way that you wove them together. I was trying to do this and they were just snapping <laughs> and then Chloe blanched them. So that softened them, I guess, and made them more mobile. That's exactly what happened. They became more pliable. And of course, I have to have this with a bottle of very cold red horse. Cheers, everybody. Oh, yeah. Mm. Kale kale. Almost forgot we have a bagoon. I was expecting a sauce, but it's more. It's like fried shrimp paste. I think I realized a fatal error. Rani said that you could get brown fried one already, and I think that's what we were supposed to use. Sure. So we may have gone wrong with the bagoon. I reckon it'll still be the same. We're trying here. I'm going to get some oxtail. Beautiful got... bit of meat. Big shout out to Jojo for providing the oxtail and the majority of our ingredients. This is the first time I'm eating banana blossom. Kind of forgetting to talk about the fact that we're using banana blossom, which is something that I've never encountered in my 31 years of existence. Long beans, I've never had oxtail. Have you never had oxtail? No, I've had ox cheek, but never oxtail. I feel like that's also a very English thing. I've never had anchoate powder. Anato powder. Yeah, but it was also called actuate. I swear the pack said actuate powder. Is this like the time that you called Longanisa <laughs> something else? So we have some Filipino sausage, aka koshian. What? Um, no, I think at. Oh, it doesn't matter. You know what? I give up. I just want to eat. I'm so bloody hungry. I know. Again, this has been quite the experience of making it. I um, started about six hours ago. <laughs> It took me a while. I don't think it's meant to take that long. Technically started yesterday, but the post growth stage of this meal is meant to be relatively fast. Mm. So Chloe, you're already in there with it. So how, how is it? It's pretty good. I started with the beans. And I want you to be brutally honest. So we've got the aubergine in there as well. I was slightly concerned that I may have taken it too far. No, it was perfect. Don't forget the bagoon. Oh yes, the bagoon. Apparently this isn't worth having if you don't have this. Ooh, okay, did you hear? Oh, I, was about to, I was about to say, did you hear that everybody? But I'm sure some of you are already aware of this. Get those long beans again, which I just love the, the, way, the way they're woven. I think that's so cool. But then there was one recipe that was like, cut the long beans into short strips. What? And I was like, we didn't go and find long beans just to cut it. Absolutely. My beans are meant to be long. They're gonna stay long. I love the color of the sauce. I really do. When I first poured it into the pan, it looked quite thin. But then when I added peanut rice flour paste, mm -hmm. it started to thicken up immediately. And that's when I started to get really excited. Really excited. The red horse is wunderbar. 
I'd be sparing with that. Ooh, okay, I didn't go too hard on that. Right, everybody, that's what it looks like. Mm. Wow. We use calamansi juice, which we managed to pick up from a supermarket. You can't actually get calamansi in the UK, but you can get the juice. I'm getting that taste of calamansi. And did you have a bit mm. with the bagoon on it? I mean, you're telling me this oxtail you're meant to just not use a knife with. I still struggle with this, but I'm getting better. I feel like I'm getting better at the spooning and the knifing. Sorry, <laughs> forking. How are you supposed to chop your aubergine? Don't try and get such a big spoonful. But I've got a big mouth. Okay, so I've got some bagoon, some oxtail. We'll get a little bit more bagoon. I just like saying that word, it's fabulous. Bagoon. Cool. Oh, is that the correct term? Bagoon. Bagoon. I don't know if that's the right way to say it. That was just how it came out of my, ma my mouth at that moment. I mean, what do you mean you can't believe you shouldn't eat that with a knife? B bagoon. Cheers, everyone. Mm. Oh wow. The oxtail is fabulous. Mm -hmm. It's so nice, it's so tender. The cooking process of this kale kale means it gets very tender. The meat gets very tender. Okay, that was a really nice mouthful. I really enjoyed that. It's definitely very salty when you have the bagoon on the top. Mmm, oh, oh, mmm, oh, oh. I really like it. Okay, mm -hmm. I was hesitant. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. I was scared, but now I'm no longer scared. I'm excited. Bok choy I've had quite frequently actually throughout my life. A lot of this is for the first time. I compared it to a satay sauce at the beginning. I don't think it is. And no, me neither. I was basing that off what I'd read, but I'm not getting that so much with this. The only similarity is that oh. it's peanutty. It goes so well with red horse as well. I can only drink one red horse anyway. I certainly can't have two red horses. Hopefully in the future, I'll be able to drink more than two. Do you think? You'd still get hung over even if you didn't get drunk. They do say that it gives you a good kick in the morning. I definitely experienced a little bit of grogginess the night after our recent mukbang, where I had two red horses. This is ang sarap. Ang sarap. Ang sarap. Yeah, that's close enough. Yeah, nice. Okay, so banana blossom's a bit weird, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah, it's good. It's quite, it just looks weird. It's quite refreshing. Mm hmm So bad that I just want to pick this up. No, pick it up. We don't mind. Oh my god, it's so good. I think it's got to be. I think it's one of those meals where you've got to pick it up. Oh yeah, banana blossoms. Great. Mm hmm It's like having a fruit, but it's like juicy. Long beans are not easy to eat, are they? And the long beans are crunchy. I like them. You got a little bit of oxtail there, my lovely. I'll eat that. Lucky you. We'll use this for our next broth. Mm hmm Thank you again, Jojo. Oh my god, this one just came off clean. Look at that. Oh. I'm starting to understand more now why they don't use the knife in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Because the food comes out so tender. I suppose that's a result of the Filipinos doing a lot of stews. You just cook things, like slow cook things until they fall apart. Or Do you, you think the Filipinos are very patient? Possibly, yeah. And they're happy to wait for their food. Well, also if they, I think it's, they just cut the meat if it's going to be a fast cook. Like if you say Bolt was cooking it. Mm hmm I have a question. Is the word kale kale Filipino? Doesn't it come from the Japanese word kale? I don't know why you're asking me this question. You're the one that speaks Japanese. Curry in Japanese is kare. And you go to a restaurant and you order kare, kare laisu, which means curry rice. Kare laisu. Hmm. Is that close? Yes. Huh. Maybe I'm better at Japanese than I am Tagalog. Maybe you're better at Japanese than you are at English. Konnichiwa. <laughs> Yeah, probably. My English is okay. And it's actually my first language. I suppose the beauty of the meal is the fact that that oxtail, you get all the richness and the beefiness from the collagen of the meat. Mm -hmm. It just melts. So when I was like researching and learning about seasick, I discovered that they had like a seasick street food that I think was called like seasick salada and the Jolly Trucks in Manila server. This isn't a street food. No, I think this is like a comfort food. I mean, could you go to a Jolly Truck in Manila and get served kare kare? What is a Jolly Truck? Jolly Trucks are just like fast food trucks, but I think they're not like mobile. Mm -hmm. I think they're fixed. And I just remember from research the C6, I think it was C6 Salada. I might be wrong. I'm so excited, by the way, to go back to Manila or, or the Philippines in general and just order all of this food. For sure, I think. This piece of oxtail is just mm -hmm. like jelly. Mm. It'd be interesting to try it with banana blossom that isn't from a can. Mm. 
canned banana blossom is pretty good, so mm -hmm. I imagine yeah. fresh is better. It's definitely not as good as the is fresh Is it a one. fruit or is it a flower? It's called blossom, so poss possibly a flower, because flowers, they blossom. Because banana's the fruit bit, isn't it? Mm, so maybe banana blossom is the fruit of the banana tree. The flower. Yeah, that. I think it's supposed to be found like in the middle of the bananas. So as I near the end of my Kale Kale, how do you compare this to the Big Ol' Express to, and to the Seasick? It's too hard. I think this one. No. Really? I think this one. Cool. It was very good. The oxtail, I mean, the is, is, is amazing. I can't see how it would be any better if you added tripe. I don't think tripe ever makes anything better. No. I've never eaten anything and thought, hey, this needs more tripe. No, maybe some beef shin, possibly. Another slow cooked beef. Yeah. Would be really good. What I think you need the beef to hold up against like the richness of the sauce. Yeah. Like it couldn't be a chicken or a pork. I think for me, the Big Hole Express is still my favorite. Is I'm... it because you had to cook this and it was more effort? Exactly, that's exactly what I was about to say. This is easily the hardest thing I've ever made. Actually a little bit proud that you said that this was your favorite. It gives me like nice warm feelings inside to know that you really enjoyed it because I, I have never really prepared anything to this much effort and detail. So it's very rewarding and it's made it feel really nice. However, I think I just love to have had nothing to do with the preparation phase and have just been served it. Would you have picked this if I would just made it? Good question. Difficult to know because it might not taste the same. Probably taste worse. Yes. No, I'm sure it tastes better than my attempt, so I'd probably pick it. It was amazing. I have to say, so have all of the Filipino food that we've had so far. We haven't had a bad egg. But you haven't tried balut but yet. Exactly, <laughs> nice. I'm happy with this. This has been an amazing meal. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Drop us a comment below if there's anything you want to recommend we make and eat. And please feel free to correct as well. Any bad Tagalog. Japanese. <laughs> German, German. German, wunderbar. <laughs> Don't hold back. Let us know what you thought. We'd love to hear from you. And on that note, we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Thank you.